Hey, this is Matt once again. We're about to end that video. And this is a paid request for Peter. Thank you so much for that. Uh, for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. <coughs> and Peter wanted me to react to a video called Dr. Phil Shenanigans Soundboard Prank Calls. It's 8 minutes and 52 seconds here on YouTube. And I won't be showing the video because number one, I don't want to deal with copyright. And number two, I did not get this person's permission. <coughs> so I don't want to go through any of that. But if you want to follow along when you're on your computer, you can have another tab or you have another window. I have the link down below and you can follow me and one me here, the video over here, however is best for you. But let's get into it. Thank you once again, Peter. Three, two, one, pressing play. So yeah, the guy immediately knew it was Dr. Phil, okay. <laughs> so one guy knew, the other guy is just confused. So here's another one. This guy's being nice, doing well. That's a weird reaction. You suck what? So now a lady's answering the phone. You suck what? That's a weird reply. So a lady has been called and says you rubbed his chest and his bum in Dr. Phil's voice. And the girl's like, who is this and what are you talking about? What do you want? You definitely really sell them. <laughs> In the middle of it, I would just hang up the phone. Who do you think you're talking to? You're talking to Dr. Phil, lady. Dr. Phil. Do you go in the store and steal groceries? She's a Christian. She's still talking to him. I feel fine about what I do. Why is she not just... She finally hangs up the phone. <laughs> Jeez. There's another lady. So they're going with the same articulate, intelligent, logical. I'm sure this lady's like confused. Yeah, you, if you send it to a police department, they're going to laugh and go, oh, it's Dr. Phil. So there's an answer machine. <laughs> Let that ride on the record. <laughs> so who's this?
definitely loves using the one you're <laughs> like do 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 <laughs> guys getting mad go this phone one more time and then what you don't reach through the phone Who is this? Uh, it's, a, it's not Dr. Phil, it's another voice. Pretend to be a cop. <laughs> From this number. So a Cleveland Police Department, they called. What the hell is? So it's not Dr. Phil. Someone called Cleveland Police Department and said a bunch of sexual stuff. Now we're about to Dr. Phil. That was confusing. I didn't know, like, how, what was that all about? What was that all about? So now Dr. Phil pranked is calling someone who owns a store. <laughs> He's confused. What? <laughs> Are you crazy? Yes. <laughs> How are you tracing a call? You just buy stuff that you do trace calls? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you can, I don't know. Golf club? He called a golf club now? Oh no. Oh no, okay, so the guy has like a cop. Okay, so it, it's it's the same cop. So he has another one with a cop. <laughs> this guy's so confused with a golf club. No one's used his line to make any calls. This guy must be really confused. And then we have some random ice tube sawn at the end there. Okay. <laughs> well, that was, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. You had the... 
the one guy whose reply was weird. It's like, what do you do for a living? The, the fake Dr. Phil voice. I suck this. I'm like, that's a weird reply. Yeah, the one lady who's a Christian who just kept talking and talking. I'm like, lady just hang up. Yeah, the other lady that... Yeah, she just seemed more confused and hung up a lot quicker. Uh, the two people that were like, hey, this is the cop. And we've been recording... We've traced that you have called the B Cleveland Police Department and said how you wanted to elicit all this sex with the captain and whatever. I'm like, what? I didn't know what that was because I'm like, that's not Dr. Phil's voice. And I So at first I'm like, well, who is, which is the crank? Is it the, the cop or is it the other one? I, I guess, but the, the actual pranker was the the cop. And then at the end, that guy with the with the, the golf club, he must have been really confused. <laughs> uh, or maybe, maybe that could be a story to tell to the other workers. You hear what the hell happened here? But then it's like, just, just hang up the phone. Just hang up the phone. Don't... You think like a lot of people would... Like, the first guy, that was funny. The first guy's, oh, my God, I got Dr. Phil on the line. So the the first guy noticed it. So that's nice. The first guy did notice it. Kind of wondering. <clears throat> Love that you call their answering machine. The la Yeah, the Christian lady. Oh, for God's sake, you're disgusting. I love when Dr. Phil steps in to help Officer Powell. <laughs> no, you had the wrong number, sir. But that's how we're able to call you right back. Okay. <laughs> So that was pretty entertaining. I mean, that was pretty funny. I appreciate that. <laughs> so thanks once again, Peter. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye for now.